I'm here with Julia Hussein, uh, a, te a maths teacher that we've just recently put into a school in the Middle East. So I'm just going to ask Julia a couple of questions just so you can get an idea of, uh, of what she's doing. And um, hopefully it'll give you a flavour if you decide that you want to move overseas as well. So Julia, whereabouts are you in the world? Um, I'm currently in Kuwait, so we're in a district called Hawali at the moment. So yeah, moved over to Kuwait in about a month ago. Okay, uh, are you enjoying your time? Yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really good. The weather's nice. So, yeah, people have been complaining about the weather in the UK, but it's about 44 degrees over here. So, it's really good. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit warmer than it is here. Um, which school are you at? Um, I'm currently at the English Academy in Hawali. So, yeah, I can see it right, right outside my window. Our accommodation is so close. It's great. Oh, good. So, you can walk to school then, I take it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, it's, it's really close. Okay. So when you arrived, uh, just describe what happened. Did, you know, were you met? With it? Were you welcomed? I mean, what happened? Yeah, so we, we came out and the principal of the school met us at the airport um, alongside the person that was obviously organising all the stuff for the new staff. And we were quite lucky in the sense that we, we kind of came with our own flight. We didn't take the school flight out here. But the school flight arrived at the same time as ours. So we kind of had to, you know, meet everybody else there and then went for breakfast. It was nice just catching up with everybody, you know, just, just getting to know them. So, yeah, it was really good. And then we got on the bus and we were brought to our accommodation straight away. But we just had some time to, you know, chill out a little bit. And following on after that in the afternoon, um, there was another trip arranged for us to go out and get some groceries. So it was really well organised, just settled in really, really quickly. It was fantastic. Okay, wonderful. So with regards to your role as a maths teacher, just describe uh, just a typical day, really. Um, the difference for me, I think the biggest difference probably was the fact that I had to get up a lot earlier here. So the school, we have to be in school for about 6.50 in the morning. So I usually get up at about 5 o'clock, get ready, get dressed, go to school. Um, I teach a maximum of four periods a day. Um, but the sessions, again, are different to the UK in the sense that they're 80 minutes uh, compared to the hour that we've got. But you don't feel it at all. I was really worried that it was going to be 80 minutes. I'm not going to know how to fill the time, but it does go quite quickly. So, yeah, it, it was really good. And then, um, yeah, just come home about 2 o'clock. So we finish at 2.20, come home and just chill out a little bit, maybe go to the gym, socialize with friends. So, yeah, it's good. It passes quite quickly. Seems like a very nice life. Yeah, it's good, it's good, it's chill. <laughs> what about your students? Um, what are they like? Oh, they're lovely. They're so lovely, honestly. Completely different, again, to the UK. Um, I don't feel like I have to push them as much. You know, they're, they're a lot more willing. They're a lot more hardworking, enthusiastic about the stuff. They never complain about maths. For most of them, maths is probably their favourite subject. So that's been really nice where I can just stand at the front of the class, just actually get on and teach, you know. There aren't that many behavioural issues, um, which has been a really, really nice change. Um, so, yeah, they're really good. Yeah, definitely. So regarding, you know, working and living in Kuwait, I mean, what about cultural difficulties and, you know, how have you adapted to local culture? Um, to be honest, when you're in school, you don't even realise that you're in, a, you're in another country. And that's, you know, obviously been... Um, agreed by like, the other teachers that I've spoken to and they say that yeah when you're in school because everybody's speaking English it's an English school you, you don't really feel it that you're in Kuwait it's only when you're out and about um, that you start getting a little bit stressed out sometimes with with the driving of the buses and the cars and the constant beeping so you just you just have to learn to be a little bit patient and you know just realize you've got to get used to it and it'll be fine after that yeah that's that's been the biggest difference what and what about um, food? I mean, uh, are, you, are you finding that you can eat anything you want? I mean, is it you know? Tell me. Yes, definitely. Um, there's a website. It's kind of like Just Eat. It's called Talabat here. And honestly, by the time you sit down to decide what type of cuisine and where you want to get your food from, it takes about an hour. There's that much choice, like Indian, Japanese, Chinese, everything, every every type of food that you could want, anything you could want, you you can find it here. So. You know, food's not been a big issue for us because we're quite foodies anyway, we'll eat anything. So, yeah, that's yeah. really good. And finally, for any teachers who are thinking about moving overseas and thinking about moving to Kuwait and working at the English Academy, is, is there any advice or anything that you, you want to tell them? 
I think in general, when you come over to work in the Middle East, you've really got to prepare yourself for hard work. Um, you've got to really put the hours in because there is a lot more pressure, I find, from the students themselves more than anything. You know, they have such high expectations of you and you really have to live up to that. So that I think that's what teachers probably have to prepare themselves for, um, to not be scared to put in the hours. You will reap the rewards at the end of the day, you know, however, however much work you put in, you'll get back in, in their grades. So you've got to really prepare yourself for that. Yeah, that's what I'd say.